We are learning new details of the investigation into the deadly shooting of six-year-old Anaya Allen. New paperwork obtained by Lou Raguse shows Minneapolis police have traced the gun that allegedly shot her to another crime. Lou joins us now with more. Lou? That's right, Carla. No one has been charged yet in the death of Anaya Allen, but we now know MPD tried to question a shooting suspect from another case after tying together the weapon used. A newly filed search warrant reveals Minneapolis police may be making progress in trying to find out who killed six-year-old Anaya Allen. The little girl was shot in the head while eating a McDonald's Happy Meal in her mom's car. According to the search warrant, a 19-year-old man, Alante Mitchell, was also shot and is now paralyzed. The document reveals Mitchell was apparently the intended target, seen on city cameras sitting in his parked car on 36th Avenue just west of Penn Avenue. The homicide detective wrote in the affidavit that the shooters fired from the alley, leaving two dozen shell casings on the ground. And as the shooters were firing at Mitchell, the vehicle carrying Anaya passed through the gunfire, getting hit by three bullets. Police traced the shell casings and, according to the search warrant, found a match to a gun used in a shooting six days earlier at Mayslacks Bar in northeast Minneapolis. In that case, the shooter's face was allegedly caught on camera. That suspect is now charged with second degree assault. When police last week arrested him, the criminal complaint says he also had a 9mm gun with extended magazine, so he's now also charged with carrying a pistol without a permit. But the search warrant says the gun used in the Mayslack shooting and in Anaya's shooting has not been found. The suspect refused to talk to them about Anaya's case, and he has not been charged in connection to it. And we aren't naming the suspect because he's not charged with any crime related to Anaya Allen. He is already out of jail after posting $80,000 bail for the Mayslack shooting charge. The Minnesota Freedom Fund tells me that they did not bail out this man. Carla.